Right, before this video starts, I just want to say I'm doing a giveaway when I hit 1,000 subscribers, so all you got to do is subscribe and turn on notifications, and then head over to the video in the top of the description, and uh, like that video, and tell me in that video, comment down why you would, what you would buy with the gift cards, or PlayStation or Xbox, it could be V-Bucks or anything, so yeah, just do that and you'll be in with the chance of winning when I hit 1,000 subscribers, tell you mates. Right guys, we're back in the video, so as you can tell by the title, today I'm going to be showing you how to get more wins in Fortnite Season 5, so Season 5 is uh, not long being released, and uh, I've got a few wins so far, I haven't played too many games actually, but I've got a few wins, I'm going to be showing you some tips and uh, tricks how to uh, get more wins in Fortnite, so um, yeah, like I said, I've got a uh, gameplay in the background, so um, we, uh, we will show you that, and I'm going to talk over it for the, most of the video, I'm not sure how long, long it'll take, but uh, yeah, we've talking over tips and tricks, a um, few just like different ways and methods to get uh, more wins in Fortnite. Because a lot of people, this is for solo or squads or duos, or anyone. There's a lot of people uh, obviously struggle getting wins. I'm not saying I'm great at Fortnite or anything, but I can uh, definitely get a few wins. I think I've got like 80 solo now, so uh, not too bad. So uh, yeah, we're jumping straight into this. And the first point I want to mention is it's where you're landing. So um, a lot of people think, oh, if I jump tilted. I'm gonna get a lot of kills, but then half the time you don't even uh, stay alive. I'm not saying everyone doesn't stay alive, but if you're landing tilted, you're always gonna be uh, risking because there's so many people in there risking staying alive. So what I'd say is, as you see in this video uh, gameplay here, I've actually landed in Flesh Factory. No, not Flesh Factory. Sorry, uh, the factories above Flesh Factory, and um, yeah, they're pretty decent. They're like, uh, well, not pretty, pretty decent. They're like amazing. They've got so many chests and uh, so many places to loot. I think there's five factories in the fifth one or one of the five. It's very big. It's like a uh, disco dance floor. So, yeah, that actually has, uh, I think, uh, four chests in it. Can do. And then the three of the uh, four of the factories can have like two each. So, uh, a lot of chests to loot. And half the time, no one comes in. In this gameplay, no one actually comes to the factory so I've got the whole factory to myself with about uh, 12 um, not 12 uh, about, I think 20 chests uh, so I'm not sure if, I, if there's two in each one but I think the max it could be here is 20 chests so imagine 20 chests yourself you've got a great loadout so uh, yeah and also um, I want to say that don't straight away land in the um, new places, I know the new places are tempting, but everyone's going to land there right now, so if you land there, you're going to have an even uh, more chance of, of dying, because so many people are going there, so uh, yeah, I also want to just say that quickly, um, I'll be looking down in this direction a lot, because that's where the gameplay is, so if I need to talk about the gameplay, and it's just awkward looking at a cam camera, camera like this the whole time, so I'll be looking like this instead of this, so uh, yeah, if that annoys you, I'm sorry, but... Yeah, also, if I'm talking about the gameplay, I'll probably be looking at that to see the gameplay. So, um, yeah, moving on to the second point, try and get your uh, more wins, would be uh, probably getting mats. As you see right here, I, I just uh, mined one of the pallets and it got me 52 mats. Now this, um, uh, 52 wood, sorry, this, uh, like, factory area actually has, I I'm not sure on the exact number, but it has a load of, um, like pallet things there they go 52 from that one as well so about 50 each time 50 to 50 uh, 50 to 60 wood each time and uh, that's a lot for just uh, mining like I think it's probably take you three seconds to mine that so if you're mining uh, like 10 of them it's probably 500 wood right now I've got 500 wood but I've been mining other things so if you think about it, if you yeah like I said if you mine five of those pallets you'll have um, 250 wood straight away so here's another pallet it's just all over the place in this place so this is another reason why you should land here it's the bottom left of the map I don't actually I'll, I'll see if I pull out my map soon there's another one 55 wood so main main like point here is just to get mats it doesn't matter if there's no pallets around them just mine everything just literally everything if you can see something that's a, a tree or the trees are quick to mine um, uh, stuff like that really four metal might as well uh, mine it if it's close and just mine as much you can because the more you mine the more mats you get and the more say someone's shooting at you you infinite build and try and stop them you've got more mats sometimes you try an infinite build and then you end up running out of mats so uh, you just want to make sure when I say mats I mean materials just quicker 
you want to make sure you always stocked up on mats. Right now I've got 583 wood, 46 uh, uh, brick, well I know 66, but and then 46 uh, mater uh, metal. Sorry. So I'm I'm always like stocked up on on materials, and I'm going for even more. Even even when I have 99 wood, I'm still mining wood, and it just falls on the floor because it's like a habit to me now. So you want to make it to the point where mining something is a habit, because uh, the more mats. The, more, the better you'll do, the better you'll play, the more wins you'll get eventually. And uh, yeah, it leads me on to my next point is actually building. You wanna, you you do wanna get familiar with building. It's like the one of the main. Uh, well, it, I'd say, I'd probably say, it's a pretty bold statement, but I'd probably say that uh, building is the main feature of uh, Fortnite battle royale mode because unlike uh, PUBG or I'm not sure, uh, I think H1Z1 is a another. Um, What's it called? Uh, games, a battle royale game, but Fortnite is unique because of building, and you want to utilize the building. Everyone's going to be building. The best players all have quick building methods and stuff like that. So you just want to always uh, n make sure you're confident in building. If you're not, you could either wait for playground or go into 50 versus 50 and just practice. Land somewhere, uh, or even this, even solos. Uh, just land somewhere where you uh, where you know you're not going to get killed. No one's there. Just practice building. Imagine someone shooting you. Build a, um, a wall in front of you, and a stair, and then walls to your left and right and behind you. You've got your one by one, and just like practice as if someone's shooting you. Just uh, make sure that you can quickly build that one by one and just get a bit of cover, and then eventually go higher than your one by one if you need to, or uh, jump out and shoot him. You just want to make sure that you're confident in building. Building is like, like I said, the main. I'd say one of the main points of trying to get better at the game because. If you can build properly, you can get more uh, kills and get more wins, obviously. So, um, defending yourself with building is definitely a massive point. And I uh, just missed that amazing snipe there. Good about that. But, um, yeah, next point I'd probably say is um, your loadout. Uh, to get more wins, you, you definitely need a good loadout. And um, what I mean by good loadout is something like, If you have something like um, a Silent SMG. Not that they're bad, but some people can't use them. Or I'm just using a grey SMG as an example. But something you can't use, you're not very good at. You pick it up and then you keep it for the rest of the game. It's it's just uh, it's just not what you want to be doing. You want to be picking up guns that you're confident with. And if you're not confident with any guns like you just started, you want to uh, choose like guns, uh, practice with them, and get get used to them a bit. Because like say. Uh, I've got the FAMAS shotgun, uh, attack shotgun and the uh, epic bolt there, so right now I'm confident with these weapons, so I think I actually get a snipe here, so if I show you like, uh, if you don't like sniping, don't pick up a sniper or uh, don't even try picking up snipers, I think I missed the, no I don't, actually I don't, sorry, I missed the sniper here, um, that guy there, and then I end up reloading it, and then he's dead because someone else has killed him. But then I'm I'm looking around, thinking, where's this guy? He's jumping about. There he is. He looks like the same guy. But then uh, I missed that snipe. Well, I still feel confident with the sniper. I knew he's going to be under trees. He pokes out there and sh uh, 110 body shots. So that guy's dead. So I'm, what I'm trying to say is, um, get confident with what you're using. If you, if you don't like snipers, don't don't use it. Use uh, something else. Maybe like um, uh, an LMG in your loadout or something like that. Uh, if you don't like bursts, use the fully auto, and you just want to make sure your loadout is uh, like clean and you have meds. So uh, my personal favorite loadout would be uh, an AR, maybe one shotgun. With season five, it's definitely one shotgun now. Two shotguns you can't actually use because it slows down the time of the second shotgun shot. So you want to do that, and then a sniper and or a uh, actually I'd say the other way around a grenade launcher or an RPG and or a sniper. What I mean by that is definite grenade launcher or RPG if you can find one. And then if you've got a space, a sniper. If you don't, meds. So right now I have uh, a golden, uh, what's it called, burst AR. And then a heavy shotgun, which is actually the best. This variant isn't, but the gold uh, heavy shotgun is the best shotgun in the game for season 5 right now. So that's probably um, what you want to rock if you get one. Just any, any heavy shotgun are great. And then I've got a sniper and, and two sort of meds. Um, one is the mini shields. Mini shields are probably like the main, the best meds in the game. I'd say they are. Um, so maybe grab them. 
if you can, definitely grab them. And then um, my other sort of med is uh, med kits, three of them. So max med kits and max minis. I'm feeling confident. I've got um, a lot of like, uh, well, a lot of ways to get back uh, health if I lose it. Right now I've stayed on 100, 100 for a while since I've drank that chug jug at the start. And then I go and drop the med kits. Because I'm on 100, 100, I'm going to lose my shield first. And say I don't lose all my shield, I can just re, uh, re put on my shield with the 10 mini, so I won't, I may not ever have to use med kits, so that's why I've gone for that decision there, to pick up the RPG, it's a golden one, maybe if it was blue I wouldn't have chose it, but the golden one does so much damage to structures and people, that it's just, I think it's a good choice, and, and I end up sw switching my uh, sniper to the end of the loadout, because if you snipe someone, and they don't die, you can finish them off with an AR quickly, by clicking LB or uh, L1 on uh, P PlayStation, and then I, uh, uh, I've got the shotgun next to it because like the shot it's sort of like the um, the sniper thing if I shotgun someone and they're low I know I can just hit them with the AR if they're close by so um, that's sort of like a backup and then the RPG is the, the other side of the shotgun so if I shotgun someone and or if I RPG someone and they don't die I can hit them with a the shotgun so it's all like uh, weapon to weapon uh, sort of like gameplay sort of when I hit them with something and then switch to another weapon to finish them off So maybe your most powerful and then uh, a little bit shoot uh, like a shoot with gun sort of so um, This case I actually hit them with the shotgun and then uh, some reason I shoot the uh, RPG there so that was a pretty uh, bad mistake But this guy had a gold gold scar so that's the best gun in the game in, in my opinion And uh, he has some rockets for me there's loads of minis lying around and uh I get to refill, but this is where the med kit could have uh, helped. I just shouldn't have shot that RPG. I should have shotgunned him again. But we still, uh, we still uh, stay alive, so it's okay. And uh, I want to move on to the next point because I think we've got about five minutes left of this uh, video. So um, yeah, that is how you're actually going to play. So uh, like I said at the start, you sort of want to, um, you're like playing sort of slowly, aggressive, uh, not aggressively. Sorry. Uh, a lot of gameplays on YouTube like Ninja fighting squads aggressively just running at people. But um, I'd say, well, I would 100% say that if you're going for wins, it's, a, it's the, the best way to do it is go uh, slowly. You know, it sounds boring. One, if you can't get wins, uh, nothing's boring if you're getting the win by going slowly. And two, uh, wins are fun, so might, you might as well play slowly to get that win. So what I'm trying to say is, a lot of people just rush out and uh, try and kill whoever they see, but you don't actually have to fight people, if you, especially solos. If you see someone, you don't always have to fight them. Um, if they're like far away and you haven't got a sniper, don't shoot them because uh, there's no point. It just like yeah, just make smart decisions. So when you when you uh, say you do have a sniper, you hit someone, and fair enough, go go rushing because he's probably low if you hit them with a bolt action. Uh, just uh, rush in and shoot either your AR or your uh, shotgun on him if he's close by I'm not sure but yeah but like make smart decision decisions on how you're gonna play because the slower you play in my opinion the the more controlled you are and that means you're gonna uh, like last longer and like I, I've got I've uh, gone around the outside of the ring most of the times and right now I'm I'm getting the high ground that's another way and like how to play it's um getting getting that high ground because high ground is everything in Fortnite literally Building a high ground, I'd say, with two of the main points because high ground means you get easier headshots, uh, you get shots on people where they can't even get an angle on you. It's just like, so this mountain here in this circle, obviously, this isn't going to be a circle for everyone, but in this game, this mountain is the highest place in this circle because Dusty Divot, Dusty Divot, uh, the mountain by Dusty Divot over there is actually uh, taking out the cir next circle. So I jump into this quickly and I've now got the height on everyone in this. Uh, everyone left in this game so height really is just uh, a massive uh, like point in Fortnite you just need to always grab the height because like I said height is everything so uh, yeah uh, I'd say one more thing is actually build a lot of people um, just uh, to end this video a lot of people usually why not uh, usually get, I see a lot of people just uh, like try and shotgun people up close and not build if you shotgun and then click R a B and RT or circle on R R2, I think it is, on PlayStation, I'm not 100% sure, but if you do that, shotgun and then circle R2 or B, R, T, uh, that'll actually shotgun and build a wall straight away. 
and then you want to uh, use that as cover and then get the right hand peek so so like say someone's uh, in front of you shotgun them if you can if you miss the shot still build that wall and then you've got cover behind you maybe it'll block their shot I'm not sure and then uh, use the right right hand peek so what I'm not about right hand peek is when you've got a wall there you want to uh, use it to like poke around the side so that say this is you 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 stand here and then poke your shot around that side because your gun actually faces outwards more than your body so you you end up being being able to shoot without actually your body being uh, exposed to the guy so it's just like a good tip I'd say uh, to get the right hand peek it's called the right hand peek if you don't know what it is uh, yeah you could uh, search it up and get to do it you can doorways, buildings, um, mountains, it's like a uh, sharp mountain just uh, always get the right hand peek to um, like uh, peek in on people so um, yeah I think that's gonna be it explained many tips on how to actually uh, get more wins it's all about playing slowly learning how to build um, oh another thing actually sorry is uh, wear a headset I can't I can't stress that even more uh, I did actually unbox a headset the other day, uh, my new one and it's um, a HyperX gaming cloud alpha so if I show you it here it's brilliant uh, it's uh, red and black, very comfy, stuff like that. And um, you can hear literally, and I'm not joking, you can hear birds in the game. Not that that's necessary, but it's just showing you the extent to what you can hear in the game. You can hear birds, you can hear footsteps and gunshots, and you can find out where they come from. And if you, some, even some earphones uh, do great, um, great amount of hearing. So I used to use earphones, they weren't great, but they were, they still told me where people were. And, uh, uh, like where the gunshots are coming from so earphones are a great way of uh, knowing where people are so yeah that's gonna be it for this video if you did enjoy it if any of the uh, suggestions uh, and tips tricks helped please give it a thumbs up I've got 40 seconds left on this video so I'm gonna leave it uh, leave it to you to watch it see if I get the victory royale and uh, yeah if you enjoyed the video please give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you're not already peace in the sky gazing far into the night i raise my hand to the fire but it's no use cause you can't stop it from shining through it's true baby let the light shine through if you believe it's true baby won't you let the light shine through for you Thank you.